Man, I'm not trying to hear none of that. Either you're going to do what I tell you to do, or I'm going to let the booty bandits take care of you. Which one you going to do? Now choose. I'll be damned if I keep having this same conversation with you. Ah, oh, sh**. Here we go again. So later on that night, I hear him up there crying. He whimpering. So I'm like, hey, man, what's up with you, man? You all right? He like, man, I just don't want to be here, man. I don't even do nothing, man. I'm innocent. I said, well, all, crying ain't going to do nothing. I mean, according to probably 99% of the inmates in here, besides me, we are innocent up here. He like, man, I know that, but I didn't really do it, man. I didn't do it, man. It was all consensual. I said, listen, bro, there ain't no reason for you to be in here crying. Because, I mean, you ain't going nowhere. How, how long you got anyway? Man, they gave me four years. I said, well, what's your minimum? It's two years. I said, how long was you in the county? I was in about a year. I said, man, you only got one more year, man. I mean, you the warden is your dang uncle. And how the heck did he, how the heck did you even get here? He like, man, I don't know, you know, he 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 cool with the governor and the judge and stuff like that, but man, I just don't want to be here. I said, well, it, it could be worse. It could be worse, man. He like, man, and, and I, I just didn't like how you hit me, man, how you been hitting on me. I said, listen, dog, it ain't nothing personal. It's just you got a lot of mouth on you, and it's better that I slap you in the mouth versus somebody else because somebody else might knock your teeth out your mouth, man. He like, but why y'all got to be so violent? I said, listen, hey, dog. So at this point, I done hopped out, out the bed, right, and I'm standing up looking at him. And I'm like, listen, dog, this is prison, man. This is prison. You're going to get hit. You're going to get punched on. You're going to get kicked, man. This is prison. This ain't no child daycare center, man. I said, it's bullies in here. And a lot of y'all cats in the comment section talking about, oh, Dante was a predator himself. Dante is prime evil. Y'all got to understand something. When you are in prison, you either going to be a predator or you're going to be prey. And that's it. That's the bottom line to it. Y'all got it misconstrued out there, and we're going to get back to the story. But understand this. Prison is not, it's not a place where things make sense. It's not a place where you would think that logic will outweigh ignorance. No. Ignorance reigns supreme in prison. Only the strong survive. If you're not physically fit, to survive in prison, you better have some money, okay? Or you better have a brilliant mind where you can manipulate other cats to do your will. And that's just the bottom line to it. It is the terror dome, okay? So for you cats that be sitting up there saying, oh, Dante was dead wrong. No, I was dead right. I was doing exactly what I supposed to been doing in there, all right? So let's get back to the story. So I'm like, listen, dog, it's better for me to slap you around than other cats because you might get your teeth knocked out your mouth. And he like, man, so what should I do? I said, you know what? Get up, get up out the bed, man. He like, for what? I said, get up out the bed. Stop talking back. That's your problem. So he's like, all right, man. So he get up out the bed. I said, get down and give me 20 push-ups right now. He was like, oh, oh okay. So he started doing the push-ups. Then he got to 20. I said, all right, now get down and give me 30 sit-ups. So I got down there with him, and I put my hands on his feet, and he started doing the sit-ups. I said, this is how you get strong. You got to get physically strong, man. So now he like, okay, so we, I said, look, I'm going to put you on a program, man. Every day we going to do it in the steps. In the morning time, I need 50 push-ups and 50 sit-ups and 100 jumping jacks. In the, in the evening, right after the count or whatever, I need the same thing. I need for you to work out three times a day. And at night, we're going to redo it. So you got to work out. You got to get physically strong, man. So he like, okay, 
all right, cool, cool. I, I, I guess I could. I said, no, it ain't no I guess. If you want to if you want to be able to stand up for yourself, dog, you have to get physically strong because you're, you're weak, man. And I said, and to keep it real with you, matter of fact, I want you to punch me in the face. Have you ever punched somebody? He said, no, man, I, I never got into a fight in my life, man. I said, why not? He said, because I never had to. I said, punch me in the face. I want you to punch me as hard as you can in the face. He like, well, is you gonna hit me? I said, man, punch me in the face. He was like, man, I, I don't, I don't know if I wanna, I don't, wanna, I don't know if I wanna do it. I said, listen, if you don't punch me in the face, I'ma kick you in your face. He like, all right. So he punched me, and it was a little love tap, like boom. I said, that's it, man. I said, you a grown man. You 20 something years old. Man, punch me in the face. So he like, but I don't want to, man. You scare me. I said, listen, you ain't you ain't getting it. So I grabbed him by his collar right here and I pulled him close to my face. I said, listen, you better be glad that your uncle put you in the cell with me. Or you could be in the cell with somebody right now and they taking your butt cheeks, man. Now punch me in the face. So he was like, all right. So he punched me. Right, and when he punched me, he punched me good, hit me right in the nose. And when he punched me, I said, "Boom!" Punched him right in the face. And he fell out there like, "Oh, oh, why you hit me? You hit me!" I said, "That's exactly what's supposed to happen. You, you don't get no free rides around here, man." I said, "Dang, that was a good punch, man." I said, "That's what you start doing, man. Start punching people that 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 saying something to you crazy. If somebody come to you and I'm not with you, cause ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you when I'm around." But when I go on my visits or I'm out conducting my business, you got to be able to hold it down yourself. He's like, I know what, what, what my, my uncle said that you was going to take care of me. I said, listen, I can't be everywhere, man. I can't be in a shower with you when you in there showering. And I damn sure ain't going to be outside just waiting. So you're going to have to be able to take care of yourself when I'm not around. He like, okay, man. Okay. Okay. Y'all, I'm starting to get it. I said, now. We're going to shadow box, okay? So do as I do, okay? So we turn this way, and I'm like, you know, showing him a couple of combos, a one-two hook type of jab thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's mixing them. Just showing him a couple of things. Then I said, okay, if you find yourself where a guy trying to run down on you, this is what I usually do, okay? Now, I do not condone no type of violence at all, but I need for y'all to pay attention to this, especially if you are not a violent, physical person. One of the things that I have learned through all my years of throwing these and protecting myself is that if you hit a man right here, you see this right here, right in this area, the right way, boom, he going to bed. If he don't go to bed, you're just getting dislocated, okay? Or if you if you face to face with somebody, and they ain't swing on you yet, pop off right here. See, I got a big nose. Y'all see how big my nose is? My, I got a big nose with big lips. However, if you are a person that don't know how to fight, if you punch a man in his nose right here, he instantly going to water up. He's going to tear up. So I told him, like, you know, if you get, if you got a dude that's pressing you or whatever, just hit him with a quick jab, like, bam, right, right there in the nose. And as soon as he go like this, Grab him by the top of his head and come down with the knee, with the knee of God and go boom, right in his face. When he go this way, just get on top of him and don't stop. Don't stop. I know y'all ready for that. I want you to hit him with that. Beep, 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 right? Beat him down. Don't stop till he, till he stop moving, right? Or till the guards get you up off of him. And that's just how it's going to have to be. He like... But what if I end up killing him? I'm like, so what? This is the terror dome. It's either your butt cheeks are getting taken or the person lose their life. Which one you going to do? He like, man, I, I didn't know prison was this intense. I said, what do you? I said, how did you grow up, man? And tell me about how, your charges, you know, because something don't seem too right. He like, well, I grew up in the suburbs, man. I, I, I just lived the regular white suburban life and you know i got into the adult entertainment and like i said i was filming all type of scenes and we had this one scene with the chick that you know why i'm in here for we had this one scene where i posted broke into her house and you know and do the unthink now he didn't say that i have 
for the integrity of YouTube in this show. I can't say the exact word, but y'all know what I'm saying. He said the scene was he had to break into her house and do things with her against her will. And she was paid for it. Right. But then she wanted more money and they said no. So she accused him of the unthinkable. And this is why he here now. So I said, so basically two professionals, you and this chick signed the agreement, a contract to do this. He was like, yeah, that's why I'm like, how did like, this is a contract. But I didn't know, like when somebody says no, and she was saying no, that, that's how they want the case because she kept saying no. And I want to educate you people something too. I don't really know about that adult film type of stuff at all and how that business works. But I do know this. As two consenting adults that decide to be intimate, y'all can be intimate up until the woman tells you that she don't want to do it no more. Did y'all know that? You can be already in it. And she like, no, I don't want to do this no more. And if you keep going, I know how cra crazy it sounds. Matter of fact, y'all let me know in the comment section. If a woman consent to be messing for y'all to do it, and you right in the middle of it, and like two, three minutes in it, and she like, no, I don't want to do this no more. That's a it's it's a hard pill, y'all. Pause. It's it is that's 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 hard, man. Pause again. But it's like, what a man to do. I'll tell you what you better do, you better stop. Or you're going to be Dante's bunkie and I'm going to be running these same rules down on you telling you what you can and what you cannot do. Right. So anyway, so he telling me this and I'm like, yo, hey, I, I, I don't know. But I do know this, though. I said, I'll tell you this, though. If you if you was in here. Right. For outside of that um, adult film industry, like if you broke into a woman's house and did that woman like that for real, this conversation and what we got going on would not be happening. It, it just wouldn't. You, 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 I'm telling you right now, right now, you in the danger zone of maybe 60%. But if you was in here for what, what, Outside of that, dog, you will be at danger zone 110%. Your uncle would not be able to protect you at all. He like, I get that, but I'm, I'm telling you, man, that that ain't what happened. I said, all right, well, that ain't for debate, man. You already got convicted, went to trial, whatever it is, what it is. Now, you just got to focus on what's going on right here. So he like, all right, man, so we just going to be working out. And, and I, I said, as a matter of fact, I need for you to do me a favor. He's like, well, what, 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 what can I do for you? Well, how can I help you? I said, well, the warden's your uncle. I, I need for you to see, can he, you know, get you some things in here? He's like, well, what you mean? I said, contraband, man. Some tobacco. Some, you know what I'm saying? He like, man, he ain't going to do that. Man, he, he bought a book. He ain't going to do that. I said, listen, man, whether you know it or not, you got a little clout in here because the ward is your uncle. Now, that can go two ways. Dudes can try to really get at you because you the ward is nephew. Or, or dudes might want to kiss your butt to stay on your good side. But you already know what me and your uncle got worked out with me and you. So, you know, it, it is what it is. So I said, this is what you do. You tell him, like, in some ways or whatever, when the captain come, ask him, just talk to your uncle. And, of course, he's going to bring you there or whatever and tell him, like, you know, can you make some phone calls? Like, every every week, once a week, ask the warden, can you make a personal phone call or whatever the case may be? So that way he'll get used to you asking him for it. And then when guards see that y'all doing that, all you just got to do is try to throw your weight around just a little bit to see what somebody bring you in the phone or something. You know what I mean? So he like, okay, okay, um. Uh, Okay, I think I see what you say. I see what you're saying. I said, yeah, that's all you got to do, man. I said, listen, man, we ain't got nothing but time in here, man. All you need to focus is up, focus on is getting your body right, right, and stay and staying out the way, man. That's all you got to do. Work out, stay out the way, man, and listen to everything that I tell you to do. 
he like, okay, 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 that's cool. I, I, I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. So then I saw you, you good now? He like, yeah, I'm, I'm straight. I said, you sure you straight? He like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I said, all right, now go to sleep, man. So then I get back in my bunk and he get up there and he lay down, right? So I'm laying there. I'm assuming it's about maybe two o'clock in the morning now. Then I hear the door open. Boom. Now that everybody knows that noise, that that no that noise that we hear that loud banging noise that it's when they open up the door, the main door, right? So then, who walks in with a guard? K B. For those that don't know who K B is, well, if you haven't been watching my channel, you might don't know who the heck K B is. But listen, K B is somebody that you don't want to be in a cell with. KB is somebody that don't want to have no friends. He don't want to have no associates. He the type of dude that don't ask. He, he, he takes. He don't ask for nothing. He takes it and he want the confrontation. He want the issue. So it's best, it's best that if you ain't willing to, to take this man life or attempt to put that blade on him, you, just forget it. Just give him what he wants. Now, KB was not no booty bandit. He was he was a predator, no doubt. Matter of fact, he was an apex predator, a predator of all predators. He was a bigger predator than me, okay? Now, here's the thing. For you so-called prison dudes out there that be talking about, oh, if if KB or, or Dante would have ran down on me, I would have just took a knife and just applied pressure on this juggler. See, this, this is why y'all so twisted and y'all know nothing about prison. Because you do know that if you take another man life in prison, you do know this, right? You getting another charge. You getting a street charge. Do you understand that? Meaning, if you take another man life and you only got five years, now you got 30, 40 years added to your sentence. And a lot of cats that's endured. OK, prison. And this is why I say military mind games. It's no shot at the military at all. Shout out to the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Marines, the U.S. What? National Guard, the, the U.S. Army. This ain't got nothing to do with our soldiers. OK, shout out to the armed services of America. What I'm saying is when I say military mind games, I'm talking about the black ops games. I'm talking about the psyops games, the military mind games that's twisted, that's telling you that the sky is green when it's really blue outside. That's what I'm talking about. We can go more in depth with it, but y'all got to check out my other videos about that. But anyway, so that's KB. And I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to start telling y'all the stories about KB Letty. Okay. Also, if you're looking for a good movie to watch tonight on Tubi, make sure you click on the link in the comment section at the top. The movie is called Finders Keepers. Go check it out. YouTube is not sending out my notifications. I need for y'all to text this number right here that y'all see on the screen because I got to send out my own notifications. I went out, y'all, and bought a phone just for y'all. Okay. If you want me to promote your business, or your social media channel, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, X, OnlyFans, YouTube, don't matter. Text this number and ask me about my promotion deals, okay? Right now, y'all, I'm doing the special $50 per video, all right? But this, that is only good till July. So after July, it's going back to $100 per video. Okay, make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all share the video. Ah, oh, here we go again.